In the following lecture, we're going to talk about the erector spinae. So the erector spinae is a group of muscles that are there to provide power for the entire posterior chain and also stability for the spinal column. I've actually separated the longissimus section, okay? So this is how the longissimus section looks like. So if we just fade everything around it, you can see how it essentially begins from the sacral area all the way down here. That's where the tendons will attach. And then it kind of breaks down into three different sections. Here you can see on the left hand side. So we've got the longissimus thoracis, which is the main body of, of this section. We've got the longissimus uh, capitus, which is the second body or the second part. And then just so we can have this complete section, I'm just going to add the last one, which is this small chunk of tissue there, which is the longissimus capitus. So I've actually taken off a lot of muscle here. So we've taken off the latissimus, the trapezius, the rhomboids, the liveris scapulus. All these muscles are superficial in, in relation to the erector spinae. So what we need to do now we're going to multi-select the iliocostalis group this muscle actually doesn't go into the base of the skull as you can see from up there so if i just fade everything around it this is what the muscle looks like uh, when everything else is kind of been removed so it kind of covers a little bit underneath the scapula there so if someone has kind of uh, problems underneath the scapula so a lot of people will come in and they have this tension in between the shoulder blades and underneath the shoulder blade and this could be the muscle that's causing this tension okay. going to multi-select the spinalis thoracis and i'm going to do that on both sides because it's, it'll be quite nice to see. See how the spinalis thoracis will essentially end at the T2 uh, point where the spinalis surfaces will essentially take over and attach itself all the way into the axis, basically. So this actually gives us a pretty nice picture of the connection points for the uh, spinalis thoracis and the spinalis surfaces. And again, I'm just going to multi-select the entire group of muscles. There we go, I'll select them on both sides of the body. And I'm going to fade the others. And this is what it looks like. So it's like a uh, a support that you have that's essentially stuck onto the actual spine. You can see how the muscle is essentially lying in between the spinous process and the transverse process of the actual vertebra. You know, so in the gap between those processes, you've got the uh, semispinalis uh, muscles. And again, one more look at it so you can see the occipital bone there and the semispinalis capitis, thoracis, and then services. Okay. Now each anatomy chart is going to give a different depiction of this muscle. As you can see it now, it's like a sheet that's spreading between the uh, spinous process and the transverse processes. So like see how it attaches here. So that's, that is a transverse process and that is a spinous process. So it, it's attaching between the two and it's going up the spine like this. Okay, and then what we're going to do now, I'm just going to fade the other muscles around it. And again, so it's following the entire spine now all the way up into the base of the neck there almost. So.